a bit of a pep talk here about the importance of publishing your framework sooner rather than later. Because I know some of you are probably saying, George, I'm going to publish my framework as soon as I organize all the notes in my computer and in my, in my file drawer that I have here. Once I organize all the notes, and I'll feel confident that I've got something comprehensive and I haven't missed anything and I will be able to publish the framework. And I just want to, I just want to, I would, and all my bookmarks, my George, I have a lot of bookmarks on my, on my browser, but once I organize all those, and then I promise you, I will publish it. I'll see you in the next life because it's going to take at least a whole lifetime, if not 25 lifetimes. And you'll find that when, if you start organizing all your bookmarks and your files, you're like, oh, wait, what about, I need to do some more research on that thing. I, I must do the research before I pu publish the framework. Knowledge, the, the, the journey of seeking knowledge never ends, as you probably have well known. Do, do, do your bookmarks ever get less? No, your bookmarks probably ever grow. The links you want to read, right, ever grow. It, it's impossible. Like I, I have a, a whole list of links here. Do I ever expect to get through them? Do I secretly wish that I'll be you know, struck again with COVID and have two weeks off to read all my links? No, I don't. Because I know that even after those two weeks in bed, reading, reading the links, there will just be more links after that. So please stop the madness of thinking you're going to comprehensively organize your entire life's work. Instead, make a commitment, as we've already done earlier in this module, to just keep publishing aspects of your framework and at least once a year. I think once a year is a good rhythm, actually, maybe twice a year. In the beginning, when you're first creating a framework, twice a year publishing your entire framework is probably a smart thing because it has already evolved after six months. But now, nowadays, I publish just once a year my entire framework. So make a commitment. No matter how uncomprehensive it is, you're going to publish your entire framework once a year as a, as a blog post, not too long, 1,500 words or so maybe 2,000 words summarizing your entire framework. Um, and then again, aspects of your framework. Just keep, and as you keep publishing aspects, you're gonna find other ideas. You're gonna think of things you wanna research. Just keep publishing. Just keep publishing once a week, an article or whatever it is. And, and knowing that you're just gonna keep organizing and continue integrating over time. Oh yeah, I forgot, I need to integrate that. Oh my gosh, look at this note from seven years ago. Now I'm gonna integrate it for my next version, my next iteration. I'm gonna publish this aspect of it now. So think of it as an ongoing journey of evolution. Is evolution ever finished? Does mother nature go, huh, done with evolving the perfect organism? No, you are mother nature. You will just keep integrating over millennia all these new possibilities, these new experiments, you can keep integrating them into the perfect organism of the framework, which of course is never perfect. It's just keep, because that perfect organism, you'll realize, oh wait, I could have integrated these 5,000 other species you know, into this. That's the journey, the adventure, and the play of framework creation. So go for it, commit to your publishing rhythm, have fun with it, knowing that your audience will just keep getting delighted by, oh my gosh, your framework has been updated. How wonderful. They will not see you as a flake. They will not see you as a failure or as somebody who is not so smart because you change your mind. No, they'll see you as, wow, you continue to evolve. For example, by the way, some of you, probably none of you remember, my framework used to be four steps. Do any of you remember that? Some of you have been following me for years. Do you remember that my framework was four steps? No. Do, do any of you remember that my eight practices of authentic business used to be called the seven disciplines of authentic business? Do any of you care that I added an eighth? And maybe two years from now, I'll be like, no, no, this is, let me simplify it down to the five levels of authentic business. Do any of you care? You're like, great. What, tell, me, tell me more, George, right? Nobody cares that you're evolving your framework every other month. They're just like, oh, great. They won't even remember. Publish sooner. Bias yourself for publishing rather than the perfecting of your framework. Hope this helps.